The Democrat convention in Philadelphia was looking like the complete opposite of the Republican one, i.e. unity rather than division. But then that email leak appearing to show an internal strategy to hurt Bernie Sanders at the polls was a good reminder that politics is politics, Democrat or Republican. Still, the show goes on, and just to remind ourselves of the formalities, the Democrats have the votes of 4,765 party delegates on offer, which means a majority of 2,383 is what's needed by a candidate to secure the nomination. And there's absolutely no doubt that former First Lady and New York Senator Hillary Clinton is that candidate. But what's interesting is the amount of influence her rival Bernie Sanders will still have. The apparent attempts to undermine him already caused the DNC chair, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, to step down. But beyond that, the party platform, which will be approved at the convention, is one of the most progressive in years. And a lot of that is done to Sanders. Things like raising the minimum wage to $15 an hour, major Wall Street reforms, the abolition of the death penalty. That is the work of the platform members appointed by Bernie Sanders. Because remember, even though Hillary Clinton has more support as candidate, she still needs Sanders supporters if she's to beat Donald Trump in November. But still the Democrats are trying to highlight their perceived unity. If you notice this campaign logo, the names of Clinton and her running mate Tim Kaine have equal billing. And with Trump looming over everything this election season, there are statements like this as well. This is a tweet from Hillary Clinton which says, the best way I can sum up what I hope this election will lead to is love Trump's hate. 